Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with some more math today. Here's the problem I'm gonna be showing you how to do today. I'm gonna to show you a shortcut of how to do this, you know, really quickly and easily. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. The problem that we're gonna be doing today is, for what values of the constant c is the function f continuous on negative infinity to infinity? Where we have f of x defined by this piecewise function here. So all this says is if x is less than two, we're gonna say that f is this function here. And for all x greater than or equal to 2, we would use this function for f. <clears throat> so this is just a piecewise function. Um, basically just means that we have these two kind of pieces that we're going to be dealing with that combine to make up our function f of x. So in order to make sure that this function is continuous on negative infinity to infinity, which is the same as saying all real numbers or continuous everywhere, we basically just need to make sure that our function is continuous at x equals 2. And the reason for that is if we look at each of these pieces individually, just consider them by themselves for a second, no matter what our constant c is, each of these functions on their own would be a polynomial. Polynomials are continuous everywhere, no matter what this constant would be. So what that means is we already know, based on the fact that these are both polynomials, that this function is already continuous for all x less than 2. And this function is already continuous for all x is bigger than 2. All we need to do is make sure that they line up when we go from one function to the other. So when we get to x equals 2, we need to make sure that they're at the same height so that we smoothly go from one function to the other without having a jump discontinuity. So all we need to do, the shortcut, is to just plug in x equals 2 into each of these functions and set them equal to each other and solve for c. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's our piecewise function f. All we did was take 2, put it in for x into each of these functions, and then set them equal to each other. So this is our, our upper piece here, is right here, and then our lower piece is here. And all we did was replace our x with 2. So the reason why this works is it makes sure that these two functions have the same y value when x is 2. And if they do have the same y value, when we go from one function to the other, they'll line up and we'll be able to smoothly go from one to the other without jumping up or down. So if they don't have the same y value at x equals 2, we're going to jump from one to the other when we get to x equals 2. So doing this ensures that they have the same output when x is 2. And if we can show they're continuous at 2, uh, then that shows that this function f will be continuous for all x values because we already know that each of these is continuous within their own domain. So then showing that it's continuous at x equals 2 also, that would then include all x values between negative infinity and infinity. So all we need to do is solve this equation for c. So let's go ahead and do that. So first to simplify here, 2 squared is 4. 4 times c would just be 4c. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 cubed is 8. And then minus 2c. So let's just go ahead and add our c's over to the left, <clears throat> subtract this 4 over, whatever we do to one side we have to do to the other, so that'll cancel there, that will cancel with that, so over on the left side we'll just have 6c, 4c plus 2c would be 6c, and then over on the right side we'll have 8 minus 4 would just be 4, then we can divide both sides by 6, and that'll just give us That'll cancel with that. We'll just have c equals 4 over 6, which will just simplify down to 2 over 3. So if you haven't already, you should go over to my website and download my free Calculus 1 study guide. It's full of tips and tricks that should help, you know, kind of make homework and studying for tests a lot easier for you. I'll put a link in the description, so go check that out and hope it helps.